Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week, we actually found another home, and it's not on the street yet, but we're getting pretty close. Yeah, as you know, we were evicted from our studio last week, so we got to do what we can here. Hey, but this time, we actually do have the studio owner behind us working the camera for us. Say hi for us. Hello. Okay, that's that's all you get. That's all the mic time that you get. Somebody cut his cord. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so why are we outside in the rain on a uh, yeah, Thursday it's, night? It's raining on a Thursday night. It's there's spotlights. There's there's a line of people behind us, and I, I hope that at some point in time you will see these people. Uh, we will talk to a few of them, ask them what in the world are they doing here at almost midnight on a Thursday night. Half of them probably have to go to work. Yes. I know I have to go to work at six in the God blessed morning. So. Anyway, we're going to move past that. But, yeah, we're sitting out here for the iPad, the new iPad that is being released at 12.01 a.m. And we are, where are we? We are on West End in Nashville, Tennessee. 2525. At 2525 West End Avenue at I the said, uh, Mac Authority. I told him to cut his mic. Now, nobody's cut his mic. I can't believe this. This is nonsense. But anyway, yeah, we're at 2525. What is it? West End? Is that right? West End, yeah. West End. We're at the Mac Authority store. This is one of their flagship stores. Uh, they've got three different. Is it three different or two different locations? I can't remember. Can right we, now, right now, in Nashville, it's two locations. Can, can we? Uh, I got, I, I'm gonna kind of do something off candid, and I want to see if the marketing manager, who actually allowed for us to come and do this, I would like to see if he would like to come on and kind of tell us, you know, about Mac Authority, because not everybody has a Mac Authority. But yeah, we know what it is because we're here. So what we're gonna do is, go ahead and come on. Are you set up for this mic? I am. I'm gonna, yeah, what we're gonna do. All right, sorry about that. But anyway, all right, so where are we at again? Let us know what we're in and what your name is, who you are, kind of give us a rundown. Sure, uh, I'm Lucas, I'm the marketing director for Mac Authority. Uh, we are at the newest of our stores, our fifth store. Right. Uh, West End, it's the Vanderbilt West End location. It's a campus store as well as retail store. Right. Um, we're situated in a pretty awesome area of town right next to Vanderbilt. We get a little bit of every, everything as far as traffic is concerned. Right. Uh, we have four other stores. Three of our stores are in Nashville. We have our original at uh, West uh, Wedgwood, which right. is our uh, Nashville downtown store. Right. We have our Cool Springs Galleria store. Uh, those two are closed tonight. We're doing all the activity for Nashville here. Okay. And then in Louisville and Chattanooga, we have stores at uh, St. Matthews and Hamilton Place. Okay. And they just started their doors open and they just started selling. Oh, that's so, right. They're an hour ahead of yeah, us. So, they yeah, get an hour, started, they get an so. hour on us. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, you know, we've been we've been at this for uh, more than a decade, about 15 years, and awesome. uh, we're you know five going on more. So uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. It's a great company to work for. It's local. It's independent. Uh, we get to do cool stuff that corporate stores don't necessarily get to do. So. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, because you guys, I actually, if, if any of you know anything about the true corporate Apple stores, they don't get to open up until tomorrow at 8 a.m. And you guys are out here doing it the 12 a.m. style. This is almost like a video game release. For any of you gamers out there, this is like a real video game release. Yeah, yeah. 12.01. You guys are actually opening the store at 11.45, is that correct? Yeah, 11.45, we'll open the doors. And at 12.01, we can take the drape off the product and start selling. Okay. Uh, we have strict rules on when we can let that out into the wild. Right. But uh, we've got plenty of stock so far, and, and we've got more coming as we speak, driving from Memphis warehouses to here. Right. So we should be able to be prepared for tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, everybody that needs anything. That was going to be my next question because obviously at corporate Apple stores they have strict rules and I don't know what the strict rules are for you guys but what kind of rules do you have as far as because I know at the Apple store they can't tell you we have 500, we have 75, we have whatever. They they love the normal thing so I don't know is that what you guys are upheld to or? We don't usually talk about it because we don't know. Right. Uh, we have hundreds currently. Right. Uh, we may have hundreds more. Uh, we may blow through that. We may last a couple days with the stock. Uh, there's so many variables. And usually, when we don't say something, it's because we don't quite know yet. Right. Uh, typically, we, we wake up on a morning like today, and we have to start tracking and start figuring out, you know, what are we going to get? When are we going to get it? Right. Um, you know, and there, there are a lot of rules because it's a big deal. Apple wants to make sure it stays under wraps. And it's just like right. media releases, like what you said, games, movies. Yeah. It's hey, kind of the same thing. I need that it's one to record, and I think I'm fixing to run out of film. Being the fact that it is a midnight release, did you work today at all? Yes. <laughs> uh, this will be about a 16-hour day. Holy Yesterday cow. was a 12-hour day. Wow. But, you know, I can complain all I want. I'm still not working as hard and long as some of the people in the stores and in the warehouses. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's definitely harder work than mine. 
uh, I have some stress, but these guys, they do a, a lot of, of busting. And our, our VP of retail was physically unloading and loading. And, me, uh, you know, everybody's involved. It's a small let me delete some stuff. Yeah. And, and it's all local. And, and so it's very nice to see everybody's in the trench doing their thing. So I do want to ask, though, now that it is Friday, and you actually told me this a little bit earlier, I don't know how much you can delve into this, and I may be stepping on something, but I'll try to tread lightly uh, again because I don't know the app rules and, and things like that. Uh, you were saying that you guys found out about this particular event allowing it to happen. I think you said Tuesday, is that right? It was about Tuesday or so that we had the real time. Right. Uh, we knew there'd be something to do with March 16th. We didn't know if they'd say 8 a.m., 9 a.m., right. uh, midnight, you know, what it would be. Right. Uh, 12.01 was specified. Uh, and a lot of people see 12.01, especially you mentioned the games as an invitation uh, you know that, that means you should be having a midnight event if it's 1201 that's when all the movies come out right you go to the movie theater you can't watch the movie till 1201 so we we saw that and we're one of the only ones in the uh eastern united states doing this this timing so i we're love it eight hour jump on everybody yeah i love it i'm actually surprised i don't see more children out here uh because i know when i was a teenager I was dragging my mother out to midnight releases and things like that so yeah, yeah. I, i'm fairly excited to see what happens uh, are you guys prepared? You said everybody's working hard, but you think everybody's yeah. prepared? Yeah, we've got, you know, this store actually, because of the way that we're concentrated in Nashville as our headquarters city, uh, the people that are on staff tonight are the managers of the other stores in the area. You know, myself, the VPs are going to be here, the owner, CEO will be here, you know, physically unloading trucks. And oh, wow. So all the most knowledgeable and, and all the decision maker uh, hands are on the product and, and with the customers tonight. So this is a really well equipped location to deal with anything that comes up so you just heard it right here the ceos the big guys all of those guys are going to be here on hand unloading trucks they're not going to be in a back room counting inventory they're not going to be watching computer screens they're going to be out here working their tail off that's why we love yeah. Mac <laughs> exactly that is exactly why we love mac authority seriously i mean if if i can say anything about mac authority well, i've been three times all three times have been amazing you guys customer service is great I, I, matter of fact, this Mac right here had a hard drive failure, what, last year sometime? Yeah. Yeah, we had a hard drive failure and brought it into the Wedgwood store. Didn't charge us a thing just to look and make sure what was wrong with the hard drive. I think all they charged us was for the hard drive, and that was it. I, I think, well, they charged for labor for putting it in, but I think that was, other than that, they didn't charge me for looking at it and telling me what's wrong with it and things like that. Yeah. So that's what I love. So yeah, we try to do the you know, personal experience. We try to uh, you know, keep appointments out of the equation. Right. Uh, a friendly kind of open atmosphere. Uh, you know, a lot of us we know what it's like to be Apple users. You know, right. Almost everybody was an Apple user before they came to work for Mac Authority. Uh, you know, lifelong fanboys like myself. You know, <laughs> I used to sit up and watch you know, keynotes whenever I could. And, uh, you know, it, it's weird to work with it now because you're, you're too busy to care. He <laughs> just <laughs> he just used the word fanboy. That's right. He just used the word fanboy. That is awesome. I love it. He's an Apple fanboy. This is great. Um, is there anything else that you want to talk about before I... Uh, other than to thank all the people that we've got out here, we got some folks in nice weather. It actually turned out to stop a little raining at least. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, the it, temperature is not ridiculous. Oh, yeah. So that's beautiful. great. Beautiful. I love it. I love uh, the fact that it's out here and everybody's enjoying themselves. We passed out water. If you haven't gotten a water, I did. I we did. will get you more if you need it. Yeah, we've got and, plenty. You know, anybody that's, that's out there, come on down. All right. <laughs> so as you guys are watching this later, uh, and I, did, I, did I give you a chance to give you your name? I apologize. Yes. I did. Okay. Yes. Just in case, always checking. Uh, but anyway, we're going to cut right here. We're going to move on to another news story, but uh, we'll be right back. All right, what we're looking at is two people that decided to come out on a Thursday night for some odd reason. We're going to find out. So why did you come out tonight? Well, first of all, what is your name? My name is Rebecca. This is Rebecca, y'all. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Rebecca. Okay. So Rebecca, tell me, why in the world did you come out here at midnight to come to the Mac Authority to get an iPad? I guess that's the only reason. That's the only reason. I missed the pre-order sale online for delivery on Friday, and I wanted to give it up. Okay, so you hear that? Reason number one. Can I keep a checklist? I think I'll put a checklist on the side down here in the lower third. Checklist point number one. The reason why she is here is because she did not stay up late on the website. So, and I'm going to assume that you are here for moral support. 
but you may actually want one. I don't know. What is your, first of all, what is your name? And then tell us why you're here. My name is Starling. I love it. We there have you security. Go. There you go. This is awesome. We have security on the spot. She's not wearing a black jacket and a nice badge, but she still can whoop you. So it, she's somebody's mama. So I know if she's somebody's mama, we're good. So how long do you think you're going to be here? 1201, grab it and go. Or are you going to hang out for a few minutes? What's going to happen? I'm with Rebecca. So Rebecca, what are we doing? We're going home. Okay. She's got to work in the morning. So we're going to leave her alone. She's probably done tired of me already. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. All right, going down the line here. I'm going to get to know the people a little better. <laughs> Have a seat. All right, so uh, tell us your name and why you're here. I'm Tyler, and I'm here to avoid the Apple Store. I think we're all here to avoid the Apple Store. So avoid the Apple Store by all means. Mac Authority has, as you heard, three locations. Apple Store has... One. One in Green Hills. And if anybody knows Green Hills and traffic, well, then you know. <laughs> All right. And what is your name? Why are you here? I'm Liz, and I'm here for a little stroke. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's good to have that. It is. In case I fall asleep. Exactly. Then she can take your wrapper as well. She may go home with an iPod shelf. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Moving on down the line. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing well. So, what's your name and why are you here? Uh, my name is Randy. I'm here for some reason. The Tyler is here. I don't want to avoid the uh, lines. Are at the Apple Store. Exactly. One more nay on the Apple Store. <laughs> How's it going? What are you listening to? A podcast. Competition. What podcast? Hey, Rusty. We got a Nerdist fan here. We got a Nerdist fan here listening to another podcast while we're out here sweating. Did, did I hear <laughs> that she is out here listening to Nerdist while sitting in the line for an iPad, a new iPad? Okay, how long have you been listening to the Nerdist? How long? Yes, how long have you been listening to the Nerdist? You don't know. You don't have to eat it, but you do have to be a little bit closer. It's kind of hard to hear because... A year, maybe. Okay. Do you listen to any other podcast? Yes, I love podcasts. Okay. What other podcast do you do you uh, subscribe to, listen to, watch, whatever? My favorite is Doug. Doug loves movies, and for those of you that have no idea, like I do, I'm putting up a screenshot right here because uh, I have no idea what it is. That's Doug right there. Doug Vincent. Yeah. Oh wait, the stand-up comedian. Yeah. Holy cow. Super high me. Yes. Why did I not know this? Yeah, he was just here. He was here. Yeah, I did. He's coming back in uh, a yeah. Yes, that's why I didn't know anything about that because I totally missed that show because I was doing a show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a side thing here. Uh, I'm gonna pimp out my two podcasts. The one that you're watching right now is TextNation.tv. You're on it, just so you know. Uh, we will either have it up tomorrow, depending on how much sleep that I get tonight, or Saturday at one point in time. I'm hoping for tomorrow so that you can see this. Um, but so you need to start watching textnation.tv. It's a YouTube only, so it works on your iPhone. It works on your iPod Touch. It works on your iPad. It works on your Mac. It works on your PC. Any mobile device. Pretty much. If, if you it, have our two uh, ugly faces uh, following you. Yeah, we pretty much talk about tech there. So you guys, can, you can watch that. Uh, I have another one, which I cannot say the name of it on this because we're a family show. But basically, uh, we do comedy uh, for about an hour, hour and ten. So uh, I think you need to subscribe. We'll leave you some information. But that's pretty much for this that's pretty much it for this interview right here. Alright, but as you see here, it's almost almost time for the store to open. So here in about a few minutes as we clip into it, we're gonna actually show you the drawing that we didn't cheat about. We handed everybody cupcakes and we're gonna tell everybody, hey, look at the bottom of your cupcake, pick it up off the street and do it on the ground because we told you not to. But either way. We're going to draw for a free iPod Shuffle, which I think Alan has in his pocket because I know I don't have it in mine because I can't keep up with squat. So, all right, let's get it started. Let's get started. Right. We're doing? I'm Are getting the ticket. ticket. I'm getting the ticket. Right. For all of those of you who have a ticket in hand, please pull them out of your pockets. Please pick them up off the ground. 
please take them out of the trash or whatever you did with them. We're about to give away a free iPod Shuffle. And if you would like a chance, for those of you that just walked up, would you like a free chance to try to get an iPod Shuffle? Grab a cupcake. Grab a cupcake <laughs> off that black car right there because they're in there and the that's how we're going to win. That's how you'll win. All right, so what we're going to do is we have a nice shiny bowl that's about to come down here. And we're, he's shuffling them up right now, and you can watch as we draw. We're not cheating. We're just throwing it in here. Can we see the iPod shuffle first? I want to see the iPod shuffle. Make sure. Yeah, this is what you... It's an iPod shuffle. Okay, so it's an iPod shuffle, 2 gigabyte. This is what you guys are going after. So, all right. He's shuffling the tickets. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right, we're going to draw till we have a winner. Okay. And there's the first one. So, all right. Three, one, eight, niner. Three, four. Did everybody hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it's our nerdist. It's our nerdist who is now a textation. I can't even say my own freaking podcast. So anyway, so again, she wins brand new iPod Shuffle, and say cheese to the camera, or just say you love Textation TV. I don't care. I love Textation TV. I love it. All right, so that's our iPod Shuffle. Guys, they're about to open the doors in a few minutes. Uh, they should open at 11.45 approximately, so if you are sitting down, you got probably less than 10 minutes, I would say. Is that right? Okay, they've got less than 10 minutes. Everybody get ready as they open the doors. Excited to get the new iPad! Oh, come on! I know it's a Thursday night and you probably need to be at work at 6 o'clock in the morning, but who in here is excited to get the new iPad? I love it. Five, four. Yeah, that would be five. With the delta. Oh, it's good, guys. Bubble one is when they get to un Bubble un one is when the embargo is lifted. <sighs> Apple, I love you. <laughs> Let me count the ways. Five hundred and eighty-nine dollars a share is how I love you. <laughs> Ready and twelve oh one. Let's go. Oh, I thought it was the new Mac Pros. Please enjoy. I know. This is not even This is not even This is I'm not going to do that. 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 I
Who wants to be the first one to play with it? Somebody get up there and play with it. Go, touch. That's what they're there for. <laughs> now that one, this is not a new one. That's a two. I knew it. I was like, if that's what I'm buying, I'm leaving. So why was that under wraps? There we go. It was just <laughs> nearly as bright as the other one. What are the seven? Really? I'm going to be up all night. However, I am the resolution is a... <laughs> <laughs> You know, we didn't get to see the first person. You know, they always film the first person. Always. Did you say it on film? You can make it. Stretching. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they're starting their own square, basically. And it's more of a triangle, actually. Yeah. It's called the uh, PayPal here. And we'll throw a, a screenshot up right here. Uh -huh. As you can see, it's going to have uh, two flaps on the side, and that's what adds stability to their unit, which I think they just rushed it. To, really? Yeah. They rushed it to compete with Square yeah. and didn't think this through. Plus, they're really behind on this because I just, I mean, at this point in time, Google Wallet has their wallet out. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, we're going to move right into the next little thing, the phone case that you sent me for the I iPhone, which actually was one of the coolest things that I've seen in quite a while. They actually take a case for the iPhone and turn it into a credit card holder slash payment system. It's a digital wallet. Basically, what happens is it's a Kickstarter program. If you know anything about Kickstarter, they have this idea, and they bring it to market via Kickstarter. Kickstarter says, okay, we've got a bunch of people that love this website, and you've got something that you want to do. And basically what it is is it's a case that will take your thumbprint because it has a thumbprint reader on the front yeah. so that you can secure all your credit card information, your loyalty cards, your discount cards, whatever. Put them all on the front and then make sure that – Everything's safe because the thumb reader's on there. And then on the back, what it does is it has an e-ink screen. Mm -hmm. Is that right? E-ink screen? So yeah. that you can put your barcode up to any scanner. For your grocery stores, your uh, video rentals. If, right. If people still rent videos anymore. Right. But that way, you can just put that against their, their barcode reader. Right. And you can just get rid of all those um, extra I love it. cards. I love it. And if you flip it around on the back, you'll see what looks like a credit card. Tell me a little bit about this. This was really cool, and this is kind of the reason why I want one. And they're fairly expensive, but I really do want one of these. Well, it's kind of set up like this, except it's not a Carabas card. <laughs> I love it. But what uh, what they do is you can set up all your information, all your credit card numbers on your personal card. That locks into the case. Now, with that being said, even if you're if it gets stolen... You, it's useless. Yeah, it's useless because you got to have your thumbprint to activate it. Right. So it could totally get rid of pretty much your wallet. Yeah, and the good thing about it is it puts a smart chip in there, so you can scan all of your cards into the phone and keep your information on the card. And for the iPhone, because iPhone is NFC free. Right. So the Google Wallet has been a pretty much a dream for us. Right. So, so I think in the near and dear future, right now as it looks, they've got 682 backers for this Kickstarter project. They've raised over a hundred and forty-six thousand dollars. They only wanted fifty. They only wanted fifty thousand dollars. This tells you how many people want this product. So, what we're gonna say is, I would say in the near dear future, Text Nation TV may have one, and we may be selling one to you, and it may be sponsored by Geo Geode from iCash. But we'll we'll talk about that later. Yep. So make sure you uh, follow us online, TextNation.tv, Facebook.com/slash/TextNationTV, Facebook. .com Com Not, slash. I just said Facebook. Oh, you did? I think I did. Twitter. Twitter? Was it Twitter? Twitter, yeah. Twitter. Why not? At Twitter.com slash TV and YouTube.com go go slash get your new iPad. Slash TV. Make sure you follow us online. We've got the Google. The Google's right there. Yeah, you can't see that. So, But we'll see you again for episode number 33 and no iPad anymore, I swear.